In this video, we will look at how to publish your course in Articulate Storyline 3 and the different options that exist, such as publishing to the web or to Articulate Online or a learning management system or on a CD or in Word so that you can share your slides for reviewing purposes in a printable format. So let's go over to the Publish button here on the top right. So click that and we're going to go through briefly the different options here and the reasons for publishing to the different options. So we'll start with web publishing here first, and I'll just walk you through the different things here on the dialog box. There are similar things for some of the other options here too, so I'll go through them on the web one a little more in detail. So it's a good idea to publish to the web if you don't need to track learner's progress. So if you don't need a learning management system, you just need to share your course and you'd like to share your course online, this is a good option. So we can add the title of the course here, which is already in there for you. You can put a description. This is the local folder where your course would be stored. And if you go over here to these little ellipses here, click that. You can also add a few more details like your name, so the author, a website if you have it, your email, so a few other things there. And then for the properties, if you click here, you can see the formats that you can publish in. So it's defaulted to HTML5 and Flash. So it will use HTML5 where compatible and Flash in older browsers. So this is probably the one you want to choose. And you can also select this to allow Articulate mobile player for iOS and Android. And you can allow it to download offline for viewing as well. And the Storyline Player, we were already in that in a previous video where we configured all this, but if you need to adjust anything, you can do it right here. And then the quality. So I'll leave it at the defaults, but you can adjust this and play around with this and see what the quality will be if you change some of these settings here. And then you have an option to publish the entire project, which is what you'd probably normally do, but there may be a reason why you'd only want a single scene or just a couple slides. So they give you that option here. And then you'd want to put your course on a web server. So we'll come back and I'm just gonna demo this option after at least to show you how it will look in a web browser. So let's look at the next option now, Articulate Online. So this is Articulate's hosted tracking and reporting system for e-learning content. So you would publish to Articulate online and then invite learners to view your course. And you can try it free for 30 days as well. So again, there's similar options here. So title, description, the format, the player, the quality, what you want to publish. And then there's this other one here called tracking, where you can decide what will be tracked in your course for your learners. So if we click here, they have reporting and tracking, so you can report as completed, incomplete, or pass, fail, completed, failed. So there's these different options here. And you can communicate resume data on course complete or at every slide. You can track using the number of slides or using quiz results. Now we didn't have any quizzes with points, so it won't come up for us. So we would have to track it with the slides. And account information here, so if you already have an account, or you can, like I said, start a free trial by clicking this button. And now for the LMS. So an LMS is a learning management system. So that's something that will track and report on your students' progress through the course. So you should choose this option if you are using a learning management system to track learners' progress and results. And there are course platforms out there that are learning management systems that you can put your course onto, like Thinkific, Udemy, those types of things. But only some of them will allow you to publish e-learning projects from authoring tools like Storyline. And you may have to buy like their business plan or pro plan to do so. So just keep that in mind. But if you have a website and you want to use an LMS plugin, 
there are LMS plugins out there that you can use to create an, an, your own learning management system on your website. So we're not going to get into all the details of this because this would be like another course maybe on learning management systems, but there are certain reporting options here that you can look into. So there's a bunch of different things here for reporting and tracking. There's something called SCORM. That's a way of reporting. So you get to choose like what you're going to track. And again, you can indicate if you want it pass incomplete or completed incomplete. So there's a bunch of things here. And you can also set the duration so you can specify that. I'll link to some resources about publishing on Articulate Storyline and about LMS. So check out the links that are associated with this video lecture. And now for the CD option here. So again, you have similar fields here to put in the title description, your local folder, the player, the quality, and what you want to publish. So this option is used if you need to distribute courses via CD, DVD, USB, network drive, email, etc. And then the last option here is to publish to Word. And you would choose this if you need a printable version of your course. So this is great for sharing with colleagues during the development process if they don't use Storyline, for example. And it's also a good way to distribute handouts or provide a transcript. So again, you have similar fields here to fill in, title, description, your local folder. And there's these other options here. You could show the layers, or you don't have to show the layers when it prints out. And you can show slide notes if you have any notes in there you want to share with your colleagues about how you're designing a certain slide. So you can print out only the main slides of your course, or you can show all the layers associated with each of the base layers. And you can select the screenshot size too, medium or large. Okay, so I'm going to demo now the web publishing. So I'm going to go through here and I'm just gonna look at the fields here. So we have the title already. I'm going to put a little description here. So this course will teach you how to juggle and formats. I'm going to leave it with the default right here. And I think I'll click these so that it's available. If people want to view it on their tablet, and optimize for standard delivery. I think I'll keep it at standard. You could also optimize the audio if you like to help level out the volume. And I want to publish the entire project. So I'm going to hit publish now. And we'll just wait for that to be done. Okay, so congratulations, this is the published successful slide. And I can now view my project. And then there's these other options here as well. So if I view project, it will launch in my default web browser. Then I could also email my project, my course, it will send a zip file. This is good if you need to send to a web server admin to upload to your web server. You could also send via FTP. This allows you to transfer your output to a web server. You could also zip your file. This creates a zipped version in the same folder that you published the course. And you could also open it. This opens a file viewer where you can see the files storyline created. And then you could move these files to a web server and send learners a link to the story.html file, which is what launches the course. This is useful if you have a website and you want to upload your course to your website. So I'm going to show you what the course looks like in a web browser. So I'm just going to hit view project. It'll open in my default web browser.
So I'll just click through a few slides here so you can see how it looks. For step one, stand comfortably with feet shoulder width apart. For step two, start by... For step three... For step four, now we're ready. In step five... And we can try knowledge check one. There's the light box slide. Continue. Simulation. And the summary slide. So that's an overview of the different publishing options in Articulate Storyline 3. If you have any other questions about publishing your course, let me know. And I'll also, as I said, link to some resources that may help you. So check those out.